Hi, I'm Lee, and I'm a lifelong Republican from Maryland. I cast my first vote for a Republican for president in 1976. I voted for Jerry Ford, uh, who made America proud again, as we like to say, after uh, the years of Watergate in Vietnam. Uh, I've been active since then. Uh, in 1988, I was president of the Young Republicans in my county, as well as chairman of Youth for Bush. Those days in which I can be considered young and long gone but I've been generous with my money and time since then. I don't trust President Trump, Evan, since the birth or nonsense he pushed for five years in the mid the middle part of the last decade. I could not respect the lie he told about Ted Cruz's uh, father, that he was somehow connected with the Kennedy assassination. I sure can't appreciate the attacks upon people who, unlike him, served in the military, American heroes like Bob Mueller, and John McCain, who both took abuse from enemies and wounds in ways that folks who haven't served could never imagine. And even if I admire President Trump's character, there are just matters of policy in which I uh, profoundly disagree. Traditional Republicans stood for balanced budgets. Uh, President Trump has run up the highest deficits in history, and that was true even before the pandemic took place. President Trump uh, unlike uh, tra traditional Republicans, is not for free trade. He engaged in foolish trade wars, and we are paying the consequences. We had to pay $50 billion in kickbacks to American farmers after the failure of uh, President uh, Trump's uh, trade wars to get our products sold abroad. I never dreamed an American president would stand up to a Korean dictator and brag about a love letter, as President Trump did. I never dreamed an American president would deny the intelligence of 17 American agencies and say that uh, somehow that uh, the Russians were not involved in, in uh, trying to influence the, the 2016 elections. I never imagined that, but that's President Trump in action. Uh, I always knew that Republicans spoke of individual responsibility. Uh, Richard Nixon, even during Watergate, said he would take the responsibility and the blame. And in the midst of the pandemic, President Trump said, I don't have any responsibility for what all it has gone on. And I've always stood for the uh, Abraham Lincoln, Dwight Eisenhower uh, brand of Republicanism, which uh, is one which protects the civil rights of all our people. Um, I remember Ronald Reagan uh, flying five miles to where, from, to where I lived to comfort the victims of a cross burning by the Ku Klux Klan in 1982. And I cannot believe President Trump could not even bring himself uh, to solely condemn the organizers of the racist parade in Charlottesville in uh, 2017. Just absolutely shameful. I don't relish the chance to vote for a Democrat. But I am going to cast my ballot without hesitation for Joe Biden in 2020. The people who I know who have uh, spoken to me about uh, former Vice President Biden have all said he's a good and decent man. I know I'm going to disagree with him on some. But at this time, it's time. Uh, and it's time in our history that we have a man who is sane and solid, kind of like we had when I voted for Jerry Ford. We need it, Jerry Ford, then. I think we need Joe Biden now, and I hope you'll join me in casting a ballot in 2020 for Joe Biden.